Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to add mic audio from your Elgato Wave 1 microphone into OBS. What do I mean by that? Well, what you can do with the Elgato Wave 1 mic is you can bring it into a digital audio mixer that comes along with the microphone, and you can select to only bring in just the mic audio into OBS. You don't have to bring in all the other sources that it can hold, like game audio, Spotify, Discord. You can bring in just the mic. How do you do that? It's really simple. So what you're going to do is you're obviously going to have your microphone set up in your Wavelink software as an input. If you haven't already done that, I've got tutorial videos on my channel just only talking about the basic setup to reach this step. Once you have set that up, it doesn't matter what other channels are in your Wavelink software right up here. So for example, you see how in this example I have Spotify playing. It doesn't matter if Spotify's there. It doesn't matter if game audio's there. It doesn't matter if whatever's there. We're going to only bring in the microphone channel and here's how you isolate bringing in the mic and ignore everything else in your Wavelink software super easy. So what you're going to do in OBS is you're going to go down here under sources in whatever scene you're setting up, then you're going to hit the plus button there. Once you do that, you're going to click audio input capture. Then from this menu, I highly recommend naming it mic in or calling it Elgato Wave 1, whatever you want to call it, but identify it as a microphone specific input that makes your brain recognize it. Hit OK. Then what you're going to do under devices, you do not leave it under default. Uh, that will sabotage you. What you're going to do is click mic in. So if we wanted to bring in our stream mix or our monitor mix, that would bring in all the other sources that are a part of that mix. We don't want that today. We only want mic in. Cool. Once you do that, you can then hit OK. Beautiful. Now your microphone, only your microphone, is coming in through your audio mixer here in, um, in OBS. But let's talk about getting these settings right and making sure that the microphone is not coming in too hot or whatever and getting the settings right. So as you can see, my mic's coming in a little bit hot right now through the system audio. So what we would want to do in that case is we want to turn down our volume here and make sure that the mic is getting in here around, uh, let's say, negative 5 dB, maybe a little bit lower here in OBS. And we can turn the volume down, by the way, in uh, the Wavelink software as well to adjust its volume. So we could also adjust the volume over here, turn the input gain down here, and then that would adjust the volume accordingly, and we would be in good shape, okay? So... Those are two different ways to get your volume level uh, precisely where you want it to be uh, to get the levels just right in OBS. Cool, check. Once you do that, here's some bonus settings that you may want to do on your microphone to make it sound better. Click the gear cog and then go down under filters. And then there's a few filters that I recommend using uh, in OBS to make uh, any microphone sound better. So what you're going to do under filters is hit the plus button here, and then you're going to do noise suppression. Uh, so why noise suppression? It removes all background noise automatically. The new RN noise good quality filter is great. Select that. The speaks one is outdated and garbage just keep in mind this is going to eliminate everything that is not a vocal okay so if you uh if you are trying to play music in the background or do some sound effects or asmr or something like that with your microphone this is going to take a lot of that out by using this noise suppression keep that in mind i also recommend adding to this microphone a compressor filter why would you do that it gives you a more consistent sound a, with a consistent volume level, it brings the lows up and the highs down. So what you're going to do under your compressor filter, great settings are 4 to 1 ratio on your compressor as a good setting. Check. And then the final setting you're going to want here is a limiter. Why are you going to want a limiter? Maybe you cough, maybe you sneeze, maybe your dog tackles you in the middle of your stream. I don't know. Put the limiter in place to prevent your microphone, if you accidentally smack your mic, whatever, to prevent your microphone from peaking and blowing up the faces of all of your audience members. You're going to want to do that at negative 3 dB. Then once you hit close, as you can see in the bars here, your audio is much tighter and you are not going above a certain volume level here with your audio, which is great. And that's going to you want to basically be in the sweet spot right between the yellow and the red, but not exceeding into the red too much and getting toward negative 5 dB. You want to be a little bit below negative 5 dB to be in that sweet spot 
here in your audio settings so you don't over modulate but you are definitely loud enough to where people don't have to crank up the audio significantly uh, when they're trying to listen to you through your microphone that's how you bring the microphone from wavelength software over to obs and some bonus settings because you watch till the end if you're interested in picking up the elgato wave one mic i've got links below to that as well as the official accessories for this microphone adios amigos